first congregational of a national city has to speak to. <laughs> they can't afford the thousand dollar fine. You can. <laughs> Sister Church, 144-year-old First Congregational Church of National City, we congratulate you. We pray God's richest blessing in years ahead, and keep on keeping on. We press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. God bless you all. One other, no, just a moment here. One other <laughs> minister. One other minister that um, was planning to be here today. Uh, a, a dear friend, a retired Navy chaplain, George Lindsay, mm. Reverend Dr. George Lindsay, mm. uh, is doing a superlative job of getting a new church built uh, in Lemon Grove. But uh, George is also undergoing some chemotherapy, and today was one of his worst days. So he sent regrets that he could not be with us. Uh, but I know that uh, George uh, stands with all the other church groups and all the other clergy and all the other people who are here and, and give extending congratulations to us. And so I just wanted to mention that. So, Millie. Um, You've got two minutes. <laughs> it was time you got some women up here. To go. <laughs> we all have our pastors with us today. I'm Millie Gardner from First Congregation Church of Anaheim. And my pastor, Jim Schitt, said happens to be in Montana right now, so he couldn't come. But I also have two nice ladies here from the Congregational Church of the Messiah which is near LAX, and these women need to be counted once in a while, too. Yes. We all bring yes. greetings. We're happy we're here. You've had a wonderful program, and we're just thrilled. As you all know, maybe, maybe you don't know, but I'm very active in putting together this congregational newsletter that we have for Cal West. So if you want to see me and subscribe, yes. and email, I'll be happy to take it. Right <laughs> so you'll notice in your program there's no benediction today uh, because I did not want to pay the thousand dollars <laughs> so we have appreciated so much having each one of you here today if you have not seen our little campus recently and would like to come over and take a tour uh, we would love to have you do that there are some directions uh, Vicki over, over here Right there are directions from here. It's only about a 10 minute trip, unless you plan to get lost. If you follow these directions, it'll be 10 minutes uh, to get there. There's parking on the east side of the church between uh, our orange building and the insurance company that owns the parking lot, but we have the use of it on the weekends. Um, I would like to encourage you to come if you haven't been there for a while, because Vicki 
a few years back, designed and fabricated beautiful stained glass windows. And if you have not been there to see those, they, they make it worth the trip. I also would like to uh, have all of our Plymouth folk know that we have a small congregation, but we have in excess of 500 people on our campus every week. People who need a place, people who felt, who feel wanted and served, and that's all the more reason that we have to recommit ourselves, all of us who have a stake in this, recommit ourselves to another hundred years for this congregation because the need will be there. We need to step up and respond. See many of you tomorrow morning at church. Uh, looking forward to Dr. Richard's message uh, tomorrow, which is titled, What's Next? Oh. So come and be there and find out what's next. <laughs>